Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the live stream here for the uh, 1,000th NEBA here at Callahan's Bolarama in Newington, Connecticut. Uh, Kyle Rasmussen here coming at you with uh, Mr. Bruce Hall. Hello, Kyle. How are you? Good, Bruce. How are you? Doing well. Good, good. Good to be back. Glad to be back doing the live stream, uh, bringing you some great bowling here tonight. Um, starting the live stream a little early. We're here in the round of 32. Uh, usually starting the round of 16, but again, being such a big event, we thought we'd bring you an extra round of match play here, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, again, this is NEBA number 1000. So it's a historic event. Um, the last year, Nate Purchase was our winner. I'm not sure if Nate is still in the field. I don't believe so. Um, but again, we're going to have a lot of great bowling here for you. So let's take a look at the matches we have right here in front of us. Looks like we have uh, Michael Lickstein. He's going to be bowling. Let's take a look. Looks like he's up against Jay Matthew. Yep, Jay Matthew. And we have Michael Martell. Uh, I'm sorry, Michael Marable. Excuse me, that's Mirabelli based, uh, Marib on, the, uh, based on the um, um, the way they say it on the live stream on the on the PBA. Sorry. Ah, well. But it's actually Mirable. Mirable. So sorry, Mike. <laughs> sorry, Mike. <laughs> and uh, let's see who he's going to be going up against here. Yeah, Mike Mirable. I don't see the other, the fourth guy. Oh, here it is, Jamie Silva, right, here, right in front of you. Oh, Jamie Silva, yep. There's Jamie, so. All right, and then on uh, lanes 29 and 30, we're going to have Jay Johnson. It's Joe DePetto against yep. Jay, looks like. And, and Jesse uh, Cody. Right, let's take a look and see who uh, Jesse is bowling. Let's see here. There's a lot of matches, guys. Don't yeah, and they're not us. updated stay yet. With so. Us, so. Yeah, stay with us. So. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll get it. Don't worry. Actually, it looks like it's Nathan DeMello from that, what I'm It looks that way, yeah. From what I'm reading. But. I was also going to say, uh, Kyle, it's, it's early in the uh, bracket, but it's late in the day. It's 7 o'clock, and we're <laughs> just doing our first live stream round. That's because... We had two full squads today. Well, I shouldn't say that. We had 100 at 12.30 and 99 at 9 o'clock. So we had 199 bowlers here with 40 lanes. That's five on a pair. So we went all through full, two full squads today. We filled 2 o'clock yesterday. 341 total entries, which is the most in a long, long time. So Yeah, we took 64 to match play. 64 so. into match play. We had exactly one at-large cut. Uh, the rest went to special cuts. Uh, so we had 56 guaranteed, so we had another eight, and uh, one of them was a was a special. Well, one of them was an at large, and the rest were all went to the special cuts. So, uh, thanks to everybody who came out. Um, high qualifier Adam Chase, 12:44, and uh, quite the uh, quite the event here. We had the we had the cake, we had the mimosas this morning, celebrating the cutting of the cake, which I don't think helped me in my match much, but. <laughs> Um, there you go. So. so you had a long wait, though. You had a long wait. You, uh, you, you know, made it. You it, made it last night. I did. I well, I made it at two o'clock. Oh, you made it so. two o'clock, and then you had to wait all the way until. Yeah, uh, that's not easy. And and a lot of times I do like to bowl six o'clock the night before and make it. And you wait all day and bowl one game, and I didn't line up on the right lane correctly. So where where where? But John Wilver shoots, you know, a very solid two twenty, and that's it. He didn't care about the temp. John had two forty, two fifty at me, so you know that that would have been tough to beat. So that's the way one game matches go. It's just the way it is. So. We will get to the best players by the time we get down to it. You know that. Absolutely. And, um, Bruce, the pattern day was a special pattern that was put out by Callahan's, correct? It's the uh, Neba 1000 tournament pattern. Yep. 42 feet in length, uh, 33 mils. It's a little bit more as far as, like, the mills on the lane that you, we typically see at some of these events. And how did you, how, you know, how did you find that the lanes were playing? First of all, Lori is asking what round this is. This is the round of 32, Lori. Uh, so we'll have... Five, four more rounds after this, actually, that we bring. Um, so, first of all, the, the, the patterns this year, Kyle, we had a pattern committee made by none other than Jay Johnson, who's up right now on 30. He's the chairman of that, of, that, uh, of that committee, and he's got a bunch of other folks helping him. And he works very closely with Greg Tack and uh, Tommy Hankey. And uh, Greg and Tommy have been de designing patterns for us. You know, they're both 
really you know, expert and experienced pattern designers. They've been coming up with our patterns all year long. The only patterns they didn't design were the easy patterns. You know, we're trying to do about three or four easy patterns, um, about three or four uh, sport patterns, and the rest, uh, sport and the rest uh, challenge. So they're creating basically all the challenge patterns for us, and so they created this one. It was a six something to one, I think. It was. Um, uh, I believe it was around six to one from what I uh, yeah, from what I saw on the graphs. So about one. six to yeah. one, yeah. Well, well, I, I, I obviously liked it. I qualified last night. I threw it straight up 6-7. Uh, again, a lot in the middle. There's, It looks like there's very little outside, but it's not like it sparks off the outside. Uh, it does play more like a taper. So there's definitely some forgiveness out there, a lot of volume. So, And yet you still saw a lot of urethane. You know, guys outside ripping those purples up there drags it down. So the second squads always had lower scores, right? Like the cut yeah. for um, the cut for uh, – uh, 2 p.m. was 11.44 at um, 6 p.m. 10.91. This morning it was 11.60, and then it went down to 11.14, Brian Bourget. So it was once the oil carried down, it got a lot tougher to get the ball through the pins. Uh, as you saw, a little bit more of that soup made it to the back end of the lane. Now, another thing, Bruce, that we're actually uh, trying out this tournament, you might see him on the, the live stream walking around a little bit. There's a guy, Mr. Matt Brockett here behind us doing a nice uh, little documentary he is right series here. that he's going to do for this event, and it possibly is something we might see moving forward. Looking um, forward to that, yep. Yeah, I think we might have Matt in here to talk about a little bit later, but uh, that, that's definitely going to be awesome, something you guys should look out for. So well, I know I, Matt and his wife have been working on it all day, taking photos, doing videos. Uh, it's going to be, you know, a documentary of this tournament. And, and that's great because we had our ceremony earlier where we recognized um, we recognized uh, champions, presidents, secretary treasurers, tournament directors, um, and uh, Hall of Famers and such. And uh, they did a great job documenting that, so you'll see that uh, coming up. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, Matt. You know, we were talking this morning. He was showing me some of the stuff. He's already made some videos, you know, yeah. out of some outtakes of some – some NEBA tournaments, so he's uh, quite the uh, talented guy, and uh, his wife's right in there with him. And now, uh, just to make a correction here, Jesse Cody's actually bowling Gigi Mason, so we... we oh, there is Gigi, yeah, okay. Yeah, Gigi, uh, Gigi Mason's bowling um, Cody, and I believe Jay Johnson's bowling and DePetto. G and Gigi Mason just made the 2, 4, 8, 10 going away, slid it over, and that was a great shot. And let's see how Lich doing. Lich goes front three against Jay Matthew. How appropriate would it be for Mike Lichstein to win his 32nd title at our 1,000th tournament? And that would be pretty exciting. That would be very exciting. Um, I actually bowled my first Neva here. Did you? My first Neva ever was here. No kidding. Um, Good for you. You know, fresh into the adult leagues, decided to want to try Neva, qualified second, got knocked out in my first match, and now we're back here at number 1,000. Doesn't it's, that stink? It's, yeah, it second, does. Second high qualifier, and you're out <laughs> there first. That's the way Neva is, though. You know, I was 17th out of 64, and I'm out the first round, and uh, that's just how it goes, you know. And I will say this is kind of unique because we rarely see 64 get in a match play. True. So it, this is more of that traditional style bracket without the buys. Yeah, no you know. buys, one game, that's right. Yeah, we'll it's one game, and you're, you lose your out. So it, it's it's a very – it's interesting to see because it's a, that traditional NCAA-type bracket that – yeah, in fact, the only time we ever have buys is to get to 32. Yes. So if we have 40, for example, we have to have a round to get down to 32, right? So we take the, t the bottom 16, and they bowl for eight spots, and then we go to 32, right? If we have 48, we have to get rid of 16, and the top 16 get a buy. Then we have 16 that bowl, and then we, get again, get down to 32. So it's all about, it's all about the 32. And based on one in six, right, or one in five, excuse me. One in five, me, yep. One in five, so you need 270 entries or something like that to get to 64. So you know we were easily there, yeah. And that was uh, that was a piece of cake, and um, we actually got up to 341. So we actually paid four checks beyond the 64 spots. So we had four people who actually got checks. Um, in, a, in, 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 in didn't make match play, but got checks. Yeah. So this is testing the upper limits of our software in our. <laughs> and our tournament staff. So uh, yeah, I can tell you right now. You know, in between, um, you know, setting up the live stream, helping with the ceremony, uh, Justin had me running scores earlier. I was, you know, helping as much as I could. I mean, they're they're back there working 
all day. Yeah, you they, were just a fringe player to that, man. Yeah. Really PG. <laughs> you ran the uh, ceremony beautifully. I really appreciate that. And, uh, you, and you've been busy all day, and I've been busy all day. And all that cake I had to eat this morning, you know, I couldn't, couldn't hey, get I around I conveniently that, missed know? out on the mimosa, but, you know, oh, I, I, won't hold you, I won't hold you to it. I'll buy you one before you go home <laughs> if you want. So Unless the bar's closed by the time we finish this tournament, so we'll see what happens. I, here I, I'm going to go with probably not. Okay. No, nah, these go, guys so. these guys treat us great. They do. Oh, the Callahan's have been wonderful. Lisa, Amber, uh, Cindy, uh, everybody's been been great here. So and there's a strike by Mr. Matthew. Try to keep up with Litch. Litch is up 21 in his match. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Mike, uh, Mar Mike Marable is looking at 57 in the fourth. And he's only down by one. Yeah, he could double here to take the lead by nine. That's right. And looking at our other matches, um, looks like we have Jay Johnson with strike and then four spares in a row. Jesse Cody has got 66 in the fourth, looking at a 2-4 right now. Uh, I mean, great shot a... there on 29 by DePetto. He's, again, he's bowling, uh, looks like Gigi. And she's, uh, she's got three out of four right now, so... Got some tight matches here on our live stream right now. Yeah. Gigi coming off the PWBA tour. And Litch strikes again. Throwing that. Is that the EPX Hoss? What is it? It is not. It is not. What he is actually is in some uh, more modern resin. It's a uh, Jackal Ambush. Whoa. Look at you, Hoss. As he turns around and looks at me. <laughs> Jackal Ambush, Michael, right? Yes, sir. He's Threw it nodding. a lot at East he's Providence nodding. in the, the five man tournament that we bowled. Yeah, he's nodding. He says, yep. And there's a roller. It's Ooh. a rolling farkle for Michael Mirabelli. Where's Viali? When you need him? Give me five on the Michael rolling farkle. Good shot there, buddy. <laughs> We're trying to define all the different kinds of farkles. You got the rolling farkle. You got your atomic farkles. Spicy. That's spicy probably my favorite. Farkle. Spicy. Yeah, spicy farkle. I like that one. Uh, Jamie. And there's a ripper by Jamie Silva. So you got a, yeah, that's a nine-pin match for Jamie and Michael. And uh, who are some of the other matches we got going? You got a you got a sheet. Let's in take a look here. I'll tell you over on uh, thirty-one and two. We got Cam Beardsley with uh, he's bowling Frankie Kalka, and we have John Kirker. Um, I'm oh, sorry, Joey Tranzu is actually bowling Nathan Demello. That's the one that we uh, had messed up previously. Thirty-three and four. We got uh, John Kirker is bowling Ryan Graywaz. Looks like Ryan has. Four out of five. John is working on a strike after an open. Um, down on that same pair, Jesse Gibson's bowling Nate Clark. Uh, Michael Martell on 35 and 6 is bowling Zach Bienkowski. Same pair, we got Anthony Pepe bowling Robert Green. 21 and 2, so going back to the other side of the house. Uh, to our left, we have Amanda Broge bowling Jeremy Melito, Battle of Long Island there. Uh, and we have Rob Green Jr., not to be confused with Robert Green. Uh, he's bowling John Van Hees. Uh, again, not right. to be confused with Bill, Bill Green. Yeah. No. Bill Green, I thought he was going to be here today. Uh, Looks like we, he was on the uh, golf course. He was on the golf course. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it sounds like. You, you called that one. Uh, 25 and 6, Gary Krunsky Jr. is bowling Daryl Washington. Uh, Chris Monroy is bowling Justin Warhol. And then on 23 and 4, we have Henrik Tremblay bowling Alex Aguiar. And Ron Canalia is bowling John Wilbur again down on 23 and 4. We will do everything I can, we can to m update these matches. Um, if there's a particular match you'd like us to report in on, put, throw it in the chat, and we'll see if we can get you a score. Uh, it's really too many to try to just track down all the matches here. This is why we normally don't start to the round of 16. There's just a little too much data in front of us. So Yeah, once, you know, we'll be able to focus on everybody's matches and see Lich is stepping up here um, after Jay threw a double and he gets it Each, uh, maintains his lead by 21 yeah like I said uh, Kyle the um, carry down is notable here uh, once the oil goes down the lane in fact you'll see some of the uh, effects of that in some of the later matches it really changes the way the ball goes through the pins and you know we had two rounds of five bowlers this morning yes. so you saw a real change you know at 12 30. Uh, six o'clock wasn't as much it was uh, five on a pair at 2 p.m. then three on a pair at 6 p.m. so it wasn't as bad but it still wasn't good and by the fourth or fifth game you could see the carry down effect yeah and the other thing to keep in mind is 
we had an, adi an additional squad. So we had the additional running of the machine, got a lot more lane memory. So you're That's starting true. to see it's been, you know, it's been laid down in the lane fresh, what? Well, it's the same number. Actually, it's, it's the same because we did a we did a fresh at 2 p.m., then we did a burn at understood. 6. Then we did a fresh at 9 a.m., and then a burn, and then a fresh. So it's the same three we've always had. But with this much oil, though, you're, you know, your point is well taken because there's so much oil that it gets flatter and it so much more accumulates as you go, and it's harder for the machine to sometimes uh, clean it all off, right? Because they've got to yeah. strip and oil at one pass, and you know, in between qualifying and here, you've got to you got to work really quickly. So there's very little time for this much oil to settle. And so. one thing I did notice in particular with this pattern is the lefty versus righty ratio that made it into match play. It's very even. You look across all, you know, every match that we got going on right now, and there's, I mean, I just looking to my right here, I know of at least there's three lefties. You look the other way, uh, I know of at least two. You know, there's not a huge discrepancy that sometimes you see with some of these, you know, with some of these houses, some of these patterns where, you know, one side is predominantly um, you know, doing better than the other. This is, it seems pretty even across the board. Yeah, sometimes the harder patterns will favor the right only because there's a, there's a defined track yes. uh, with a defined hook spot, right? Here you have a fair bit of hook. You have a fair bit of recovery, you know, on both sides. Um, but w it'll be interesting to see down the stretch what happens because with more righties, depending on how that works, if you get more carry down on the right, it could get a little bit more squirrely and carry could get more difficult on the right. That's possible down the stretch. But we'll have just have to see, right? We'll just have to stick around and find out. All right, GG Mason here. Oh, got to back up. into that and oh. not going to get it done on that spare. And that is going to hand her opponent, that's going to hand Jesse Cody a lead uh, on the bench on that shot. So we'll see what Jesse does with that. Jesse here with his three boys and uh, running around trying to chase them and trying to chase the pins. So uh, having a good time. And there's a classic Mike Lichtstein lean off one side. Uh, Run it out. That's when you know Dead it's flush. good. You know, yeah, you know, that's, <laughs> that's when you know shot. it's good. Dead flush, you know. No, no, no worries there, mate. All right. Jay jo Jay Ooh, Johnson rings a ring. 10. And what's going on in this match? That's going to that's gonna bring it closer. I don't think. Seven, he's up by 18. Yep. Um, DePetto, a chance to bring it down to eight yep. right now. That's Great and shot by Jay. Shot by Jay, trying to keep up to. Uh, Lich and again still 21 there. So right, let's see if I can get some uh, eyes on some of these other matches over on 31 and two. Uh, Carl versus Frankie. Is that, oh, I'm sorry, Cam Beardsley versus Frankie. Frankie is working on a double. It's got it's like 270. To 246, so oh, wow, I'm sorry, I'm looking numbers. at the wrong one. Frankie's got 268 to 258, so he's got a 10 pin advantage right now. The other match is going to be Transu versus Demello. That is a tran it looks like Joey's on 31, Demello's on 32, so he's got a it's like a 24 pin lead in that match. Um, let's see if we can see what's going over here on 25 and 6. Gary Krunsky has got 216. And Daryl is now spare off the sheet for 217. So potential one pin match over there, depending on what Gary does here. Um, and then the other match is Monroy versus Warhol. Not sure who is who. Looks like Monroy maybe. Looks like maybe he may be 25, Warhol is 26, and looks like Monroy's got about a 40, 31 pin advantage in that match. So. No surprise there. He's been bowling phenomenal. It looks like, I'm trying to see here. Yeah, while we're trying to check some of these other matches, keep in mind we have these uh, upcoming events here. September 16th and 17th, we have the Yankee Lane Singles. September 16th is the Yankee Lane Senior Event, as well as the Yankee Lane's Women's Event. Uh, those are all going to be in Manchester, New Hampshire. So and our then Our first trip up to Manchester. Looking yeah, the first one. And then um, 
October 1st is the uh, Neva Masters. That's right. So uh, one of the majors coming up here in uh, about a month. So That's right. definitely something to keep out uh, an eye out for. It's going to be in Auburn, Massachusetts. Uh, Alex Aguiar going to shoot 250 in his match. He's going to easily move ahead. And there is Jay Matthew with a with a slamming farkle. Right, he's uh, putting some pressure on Michael. Let's see what he does. Meanwhile, Joe DePetto got his match within um, within one mark by tripling on 29. Ooh, Monroy just left a solid eight, but Monroy his match is well in hand right eight, now. Is it? Yeah, he's up by 32, 50, it looks 80, like. 80, 50, 70, 90. Yeah, he just needs marks. Let's see if we can see the... Amanda Broge match. Let's see if we can check in on that one. Yep, looks like Amanda is down on. She on twenty one and two. Uh, I think she. Yeah, she's bowling Jeremy. I think Jeremy she's Melito. Fifty. Yep. Uh, close match. She's uh, within a mark. I think she's a, oh, down a she mark. Oh, she's four nine. I think she's down a mark. And no thank you on the four nine. That's going to give her. 185, which means Jeremy just needs to show up. All right, big shot here lane. for Jay to stay ahead in the match. And oh, gets it out and back, rolls it off the corner. He, I tell you, he's I don't got think that. he was sure about that one. I don't think he was. He had a lot of side rotation, and it was just kind of floating down there. So. All right, now Lich has got a. He's stepping up here, uh, try to maintain his 21 pin lead. Jay Matthews really putting the pressure on him. So Westgate Rats, uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin Tebow missed the cut by just one. Ooh. And Litchie blows the seven and the ten. Great shot. Both bowlers on this match with a four-bagger now. The difference is Litch started with a front three. Yeah, and Mirabile right now has a ten-pin lead. Amanda did not convert that 4-9, and Jeremy struck. So, unfortunately, Amanda is going home. All right, so Mirabli stepping up here. Uh, strike to maintain his 10-pin lead, but then Jamie has an oh, opportunity to step right. up. and. That's wide right. That shot there by Michael. And going to lose a lot of count. Let's see. So now, 120 in the seventh. Let's have a quick look at this. 120 in the seventh. And uh, 120, 40, 60. Wow. He's going to be 128. These guys are both going to be in the 160s. Let's now, see if, if my uh, mind Jamie, serves me if correct. Jamie, if Jamie can strike here, he'll take the lead. When we were here earlier this year, Mirabli, I believe he finished in the top four, correct? I don't remember. Oh, and he Look at this. He does leaves the same split, basically. Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. These guys are struggling. And meanwhile, the guys above him shooting 270s. The lefties. So maybe that says something about the lefty righty situation here, Kyle. Oh no, a Monroy 710s. Is that going to make that match close? I think it might, actually. Let's have a yeah, look. Yeah, because um, Warhol's got 187. 160, 2040. Warhol's that would make him double if yeah. Warhol strikes here. Well, Warhol pacing to 167, Monroy pacing to 180. It gives Warhol a chance to put a Three bagger together, maybe, yeah, and, and catch up. Um, but he's got to do it right here. Looks like some games that have gone final. You got the first one. Uh, Ryan Gray was. It looks like he just defeated John Kirker, and it looks like Nate Clark is gonna be victorious against Jesse Gibson. Okay. So I know those two look like they've gone final. Okay. All right, Monroy, 167. If uh, Jamie, let's see who. Justin, he can get to. If he can, Justin can punch for 187. So he can punch to make uh, Monroy double. Again, right. match is right in front of us. Here's Michael, going for five in a row. 279 out, possible. 258 for Jay Matthew. Ran it out. And 80 gets runs it. it out. Scrambled eggs. Rips the rack. Very nice shot there by Michael. Keep it in play. 
Carey was generally pretty good here, I have to say. Um, there were people that struggled because of the oil down the lane mm. to get through it. And there's a double by Jay Johnson, a very big double. He's got 250 in the wood. Yeah, he's 257. Um, to 259. To 259, yes. So we got a two pin match depending on what Joe does here. But Joe DePetto has got to have this one. He's working on a four bagger right now. He's got to have it. This is lane 29 right here. Joe DePetto needs it. Likes it. Good looking shot. Rips Ooh. the rack. My gosh, a lot of power. Throwing, All right. the, throwing pins everywhere. Jamie and uh, Mirabelli here. It's the battle of. There's a flying Farkle. Who's going to give it to who right now? That's a, now look at this. These guys are pacing to 150. They both opened, but it's a 16-pin lead actually for Michael Mirabelli. So 40, 72 possible for Jamie Silva. 68 pacing for Mirabelli. So Mirabelli needs a double to shut it out. All right, and it looks like over on 25 and shot, six, and almost a 7-10 for Mike Mirabelli. 25 and six. It looks like Daryl Washington is going to close it out against Gary Krunsky. He just needs one pin. Yep, that's right. And it looks like Jesse Cody is going to. Well, well there's a Greek church for it, Jesse Cody. Yeah. I think he may. I think Gigi well, may be out Gigi of the Gigi is going to open here, I think, though. Best she can do is 164. Yeah, so Jesse, Jesse would just need to get needs one. Like pin. Eight of these, yeah. yeah he needs one seven pin. or eight or whatever. So. Now, if Gigi had struck there, it would be a very different match. And so that match is gone final. Cover at Gigi in the 150s. You can see there are some low games out there, unfortunately. So yeah, the one now, I'm going to focus on right now, I think, is the Monroy and Justin Warhol. Um, and it looks like Monroy's going to go first. Yeah, Monroy, um, 50-87. Yeah, Monroy needs a double to shut out. Yep. And Jay Matthew, meanwhile, gets the first one in the 10th to go f to go back six. It's going to make Lich and get the first he, one. He's got 258 in the wood. Lich now in the 240s. You're right. He needs the first one. He got to have it. Not negotiable. He's got to have the first one. And then there's some deadwood clear oh, Monroy. going on here. Right in the middle of Monroy's right shot. In the, yep, right in the middle. The lane shuts off. Luckily, he didn't make the shot. So he comes back, and uh, we'll see the deadwood clear here. All right. And then also, of course, we have the DePetto the match here. It's two pins yeah, right on the live stream. Here they go. Oh, the right light here. turned on right as he threw it. And he still aced DePetto it. flushed it. Absolutely aces it. 259 available for DePetto. He's got ball in hand. Jay Johnson needs this to match. And Jay Matthew, Jay gets, Matthew the second gets, one. gets the second one while Michael is waiting on this Deadwood. So now Michael all of a sudden finds himself needing two. Or no, he just needs I think the, the first, first one. one will get him in the first 260s. one to get to the 260s. That's right. Nine spare strike. Eight time. Yeah, Jay actually needed that second one to make Michael strike. Now Michael must strike. Right, Monroy up. What's, what's, what's oh, Michael he doing? went high. That's going to give Warhol a chance. In the seventh, Warhol, ball in hand. If he can punch, he wins. Chris Monroy, 186. Boy, some grind out matches here. I didn't expect. Jay and Johnson runs Jay Johnson the nine over. gets the nine <laughs> messenger. I'm going to go on a limb and say you wanted mm -hmm. that one. Uh, oh. Good call. Warhol and strikes. Warhol does get the first one. And now in the 170s, now he makes. Monroy absolutely make this three. He has to make it. Not the one I'd want to be shooting at. And Chris goes up That's and chops the three off the 6'10. 174. Eight and now, spares a winner by one. That's right. Now, all of a sudden, Warhol just needs eight. Oh, nine outs a winner by one, nine right? Nine out. Uh, yep. So yep. Wow, what a turn of nine that. Nine or better on the first ball. and I think Chris got rattled by that. Uh, a bad break on the machine shutting off on the. Uh, and wow. DePetto gets DePetto the second gets one in the second tenth. one. And now it's nine to shut out for DePetto. All right, Warhol up. And he gets nine, that's and it. That's nine, that's that. Moving that is on. it. Winner by one. There we go. At least. Moving on to the round of 16. Once again, guys, round of 32. It is the Rip Callahan Memorial Open. 
our 1,000th NEBA tournament. Thanks so much to the Callahan family and LaRue Marlowe for helping us get our chamois together. And we got some added money from Tech Vision here. And uh, it's been a great event. 341 entries. Unbelievable. All right, so DePetto's going to let Jay, Jay go first. must have it. He must have it. Winds it up. Oh. And how about a nice slamming nine pin? And that will be that. DePetto wins by virtue of that nine pin. Now Michael needs, needs the first one. one. Must have the first one. He's been in this situation before many times. Pressure shot. Makes it. Looks good. Run it out, Haas. There Dead it is. flush. Dead flush, baby. Come on now. Everybody clapping for Michael. Think that people as like he him? Walks it out. Huge shot. <laughs> Back six. Back seven for Jay. What a match. <laughs> Back seven for Jay. Back six so far for Michael. The difference is Michael started with three. All right, and now and just looking over at 31 and two, uh, Joey Jay. Transu, he's gonna win his match. But the uh, the other match to watch out for here is the Kalka match. Um, Kalka's winning the mark right now, so let's take a look and see. 31 and two, we have Cam, uh, Cam Beardsley, Frankie Kalka. Cam has 258 out, and Frankie's looking at 246. Wow. So here we go. Now Michael needs nine, am I right? Nine spare, right? I think it's nine spare. No, because he's already in the 260s, I think. Oh, that's right, he is. He's oh, going he right at it. Right up the middle. That's enough. And give him nine. That's right, he was in the 260s. Michael at Lichstein, can you imagine? If he were to win the thousandth tournament, how great would that be? Listen, I wouldn't mind interviewing one of my mentors growing up. Right. I've said it before on the live show. I ball caddied for him when I was like 16. I would go to all the tournaments with him, babysit his kids, Is that ball right? caddy no for him. I yeah. didn't know that. Wow. That's cool. That's very cool. Probably didn't recognize me. I was about 50 pounds lighter back then. <laughs> Weren't we all? <laughs> Michael knew he just needed to throw it down the middle, so he took his plastic ball and threw it down the middle. So there we go. And now. All right, we got actually, one match left. It's, it's, it's and, the Kalka Beardsley and, and, match. And well, the match right in front of us actually is not over. Oh. Here's Mike Morable needing this spare to get to the 160s. Otherwise, it's 150 something, and he does make it. So 167 which means that Jamie Silva can double to snap this match away from Mike Mirable. Frankie did get with the first one in the 10, so that's gonna make Cam strike. And big shot and dead flush for Jamie. And now it's down to one shot. Imagine this, even a low scoring match, really exciting here at the end. One more strike for Jamie Silva, and he advances over Mike Mirable oh, in no. a tough match. Cam just split. Uh, and with that count, I think that's going to I think that's gonna give Calca the win. And Mirable gets enough to make uh, Jamie get the second one still. He's fine. But now Jamie Silva, it's do or die right now to get him into the 170s to win this match. Must have it. And he got it's a like little he right. It. Turns up. Yeah. Slaps the 10. And gets it. He's going to need three pins. Wow. Great shot. And so Cam's. A, what a match. Over here on 30, he's got to make this. Cam's and left. What's he left? A three, uh, six, three, seven, six, seven ten. ten. He's got to make it. Interesting. Oh, that was his first shot in the 10th. Yes. Well, and he, he does make it. Converts it. Oh, my God. Now, what does this mean? Uh, Frankie's going to need strike nine to win by one, assuming Cam strikes. So 82-15, right. Thir no, if Frankie goes nine, spare, 86. I'm sorry, yes, nine spares a winner by two, one. 15, 35, yeah. Frankie needs nine spare. And that will be to the right of your camera. I think we will be able to see. You should be able to see on Frankie's the far right shot. screen. Just look on the right. This will be Kalka. He'll be on the right on lane. lane. 32. He needs nine spare. There it goes. That's 10 Dead back. flush is the best nine spare there is. And that's the back four for Kalka. 
to snap off this match. So, how are we doing? I think we I think we started in the right round. I think we did, right? <laughs> a lot of exciting matches right here in the round of 32. It's only going to get better. So, um, All right, why don't we sign off, guys? We'll be right back for the round of 16 when we were actually supposed to start broadcasting. Right, Kyle? Sounds like a plan. Okay, see you in a bit.